Hello, today we're going to look at how to use the new trial database for the libraries called Brill. And its focus is on Latin American culture. Okay. To access this database, you can go to the university's homepage for Long Island or Brooklyn and click on library on the blue banner. Once at the library, if you scroll down the page, you're going to click on the databases tab, which is the second tab across above the empty search term box, and then click on the SJNY database list. So this is just an alphabetical listing of all the databases to which the library subscribes. Since this database begins with the name Brill, we're going to click on B or you could type in Brill in the search for databases. Okay. And if I scroll down, we'll see here is our database, Brill Latin American Studies. Now this is very important. You'll see that next to the database, it says trial. That is because we only have access to this database for a very short period of time so that you can do your research for your Spanish 356 course. And it tells you that this trial expires on February 29th, 2024. So that means that you must complete all your research, downloading and printing before March 1st. As of March 1st, we will no longer have access to this database. Not even the librarians will be able to access the database for you. So to access the Brill Latin American Studies, we're going to click on the link. And you'll see that there are a number of different collections in this database having to do with Latin American Studies. If you look over to the right, you'll see that there are lock icons. A green open lock means that you have full access to that database collection. A red icon lock means that you have no access and will not be able to use this database even during the trial period. Which database collection you choose to research in will depend on your topic. So for example, if you're interested in movies um, that were made in Cuba or about Cuba, you might try a search in the Cine Cubano. Professor Alfonso recommends using the journal archive for the publication Revolucion y Cultura. So I'm going to scroll down alphabetical list to get to this database. So this is a publication that was published in Cuba. And this database covers the years 1967 to 2009. We'll see it's a green unlock. We can access it. And we're going to click on the title to get into the database. So under content, you'll see that you can narrow your search by a specific time span. For example, 1972 to 1975, if you wanted to. I'm just going to do a basic search and my search term is going to be the phrase uh, Realismo Socialista. Now I have to put this phrase in quotation marks. If I do not put it in quotation marks, it will not know that you are looking for these two search terms to be searched together. This database isn't as easy as Google where it will search everything for you. So you need to put things in quotation marks. Also, if you have misspellings, it will not find any results. However, you do not have to worry about using capitalization or accent marks. So right now, I'm just going to do a basic search for this phrase, Realismo Socialista, by clicking on the search magnifying glass. Okay. And then if you look at the top, it says my search for this phrase, Realismo Socialista, returned 59 results. That means that this term was mentioned 59 times in this journal, Revolución y Cultura, between 1967 to 2009. If I look 
On the left-hand side, I'll see that I can still filter by date, even after my search. And if I click down on the More arrow, I'll see that there are more dates to choose from. These numbers next to the dates are the number of articles or results that you will find for each year. So I'm going to filter my search results by clicking on the year 1976. And you'll see that now we have five search results instead of our original 59. To see the full text, you click on this blue open button. And you'll see that for the first article, it has jumped to the page with our search term outlined in green. You can scroll back and forth. This is just a scanned in image of how it looked in the magazine. It's an interview, Entrevista. It's on page 49, okay? So remember, if you want to cite this for your bibliography, the information that you need is that it's in Revolucioni Cultura from 1976, issue 41. And if I'm citing something from this page, it's page 49. If I want the whole article citation, I start with the first page here and just go down to the last page to see how many pages this particular article encompassed. Okay. Okay. Which in this case, pretty long article. Okay. So my citation would say page 48 to page 56. And if I'm quoting from a page, I would put the page number in. I can download this article, or I can print this article. If you hit print, it's going to ask you which pages you want to print. If you wanted to print the entire journal, it would be 90 pages. If you wanted to print just a specific page, like page 57, you would put page 57 to 57. Um, if you wanted page 57 to 60, etc. Okay. Same thing with downloading. Okay you need to choose which pages you want to download. The more pages you download, however, the longer it's going to take. And it's in a zip file, so it's a little bit slow. To close out of this tab, out of this uh, article and go back to our results list, I'm gonna hit close tab. And we're back to our results list. Now we're going, we did a basic search. Now we're going to look at the advanced search options. If you want to print or email your results, you can do that using the email icon here or the printer icon. Now in the advanced search, this is important. Backspace and get rid of those little stars. You don't need them, the little asterisks. And again, you, you know the title of a specific article that you're looking for. Perhaps if your professor tells you a specific title, you can put it there. Okay. If I want to do my search terms, okay. I'm going to, again, remember, put them in quotation marks if it's more than one search term. If it's one search term, I don't have to do that. So remember that this database is only available for a trial access for the month of February. So beginning on March 1st, we will no longer have access to this database. So you must complete all of your research, printing, and downloading of documents from this database before Friday, March 1st. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at the library through chat, email, telephone, or schedule an in-person or Zoom appointment with the librarian to help you with your research. Instructions on the ways to contact us are available on the library's homepage. Good luck with your research.